This is Laura, and I'd like to review adding music and sounds to your smart notebook lesson. First of all, let's take a look at just adding songs that uh, you might want to play for your class or, or have them sing along. Um, this is an example of something that I had used in my first grade classroom when we did our morning opening. Instead of having to run over to the tape player, I just incorporated this right into my morning opening notebook. So when it was time to sing the song, I could just click on the little icon um, next to the song title and the song would begin. If I wanted to stop the song, I would just have to click the icon again. Um, you are able to attach songs to words um, and also to objects, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. Um, first of all, let's attach uh, something to an object. Um, let me just bring out uh, this piece of clip art of spaghetti. Um, and I would like to attach the song on top of spaghetti. So first of all, what I would do is once the object's on the page, click on the object to select it, and you get uh, the blue dotted line around it. And the, the, in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see an arrow. Click on that arrow to open up a new menu. And second, from the bottom, choose sound. From this dialog box, uh, locate wherever you have the music on your computer. And by the way, it works best with uh, songs and, and sounds in the MP3 format. Um, so I am going to locate on my computer, it should be right here on my desktop, um, school songs on top of spaghetti, click on it and say open. And now um, you'll see also in the dialog box, I have the option to preview the sound. So I can just check and make sure it's right. And that's the song I want, so I'm going to click Stop. Um, and you see I have the choice between linking it to a corner icon. It gave you that little sound uh, icon in the corner that you saw on the previous page. Or I can link it to the object itself, so that way I'm going to click on the spaghetti. I think I'm going to try that um, and say Attach Sound. It's as easy as that. So now when I click on the spaghetti, Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for the lead-in of the song. We can hear on top of spaghetti. At any point, if I want to stop the song, click, and it will stop to resume the song. Stop. Um, it's helpful if you have uh, the song attached to a picture um, that you would just type in so that way you remember when you click on that, that's the song. Um, click spaghetti for song or whatever it is you would like to um, type there. Um, to link it to words, you would do uh, it the same way. Click here to play the song. Okay. Um, after you type your text, click on the text again to select it. Um, then you would click on the arrow and go to sound, and you would find it the same way. Click browse. This will take you to your file on top of spaghetti. Again, you can preview. This time I'm just going to leave it set to the corner icon so you can see, and then to set it all up, say attach sound. And now you can see where that leaves the corner icon. So that is where I would press play the song. That's coming. There it is. Okay. Um, one extra little tip. If you decide that you no longer want to have the sound attached to this picture, what you're going to have to do is right click in order to select it. Otherwise, if you continue to left click, it's just going to keep launching the song and you'll get very frustrated. Um, so once you left click, the menu opens up. You have the option to say sound. Um, and then in the lower left corner, it does say remove sound. So at that point, the song is unattached and you can click on the picture and the sound is no longer there. Um, some other applications for using this would be to just attach sound effects. Um, I often have used it as a reward for a person.
correct answer. Um, and it's funny how, you know, big, even little kids, big kids, they get a kick out of like coming up and it, it gives a positive response. Um, on this particular page, they were supposed to click on the pictures that had the ing, the I-N-G sound. So if we click on the string, okay, it makes the correct sound. Wing. And I would try to make each uh, sound a different kind of sound if I was using it as a reward sound. Um, just because the novelty gets kids excited. They want to come up and, and see what the next sound might be. Um, for the ones that did not have an ing ing sound at the end, in this particular one, when you click on it, it will fade out. Um, I'll cover uh, adding animations such as fade outs in another uh, video if you're interested in that. You can also just not attach anything to it. It just doesn't do anything when you click on it. So um, that's how uh, the students will know that it's a wrong answer. To show you how to do this, I made up a page. And again, you can attach sounds to words or pictures. What I'm going to do is add a sound to the adjectives. So first, let me click on Reliable. Um, I will go to the arrow, go to Sound. And then this time, instead of adding an entire song, what I'm going to do is just attach a sound effect. Now, I made a file of MP3 sound effects. They're free. They're on the web. Um, you just have to kind of go out and collect them for yourself. And I just organized them um, into different files. So let's see, I'm going to add some chimes um, to that one, preview the sound. And I like that one, so I'll keep it. Um, you might want to remember, though, if you are using a sound effect as a reward answer, you're going to want to make sure that you choose object and not the corner icon. Otherwise, that corner icon is going to be a dead giveaway as to um, which ones are the correct answers. So then all you have to do is just go through, um, pick out all of the correct answers that you want to add a sound to. Um, let me browse. It's going to take me right back to, oh, let's put some motorbikes. So um, I'm sure that you're getting the idea here of what to do. And again, from here, you can always preview the sound, attach it, um, and you're good to go. By the same token, if you want to remove a sound, just as before, right click, choose sound, and then from that dialog box, you can remove the sound if at any point you want to make some changes. So um, thank you so much for listening. That's all for right now. Um, if you'd like more information, please go to my website. I'm going to be having some more videos, uh, and there is more information, print information up there already. Thank you very much.